What's good, my G's? Your boy Snow, Ignorant Gamers in the house. How you doing? How you living? How you gaming? And of course, G stands for Gamers. Want to give a shout out to everybody subscribed to the channel. Thank you for rocking with us if you're new. Holla at us. Give us a few videos. Your hair mess is similar to this again. Blah, blah, blah. You can unsubscribe if you're not feeling us. I say us because it's a group of us. And again, my name is Snow. So now on to the video. I already made one video showing you how we made how to create a PlayStation community. And as you can see from that video, we've grown to a magnificent seven. Although I have sent 76 invitations out and it our group is a uh, request for permission. And um, if you want to get a part of our group, all you have to do is look up my gamer tag snow nasty and one word and you will see the you will see the community tag to my name and you can just request to join so the purpose of this video is to show you how to create a party for community members now in here it doesn't tell you who's on so hopefully they'll fix that you know people could always just drop a message in the wall whatever whatever and right now no one's playing nothing so if you wanted to create a session and you wanted some people in this room to join you in your session all you would have to do is create a party for community members we would name it let's just change this to let's just say we wanted to play drive club as you can see i've done this before not here but in just a regular party so we got that established Cause it could be different people in the community wanting to play different things. I feel like playing drive club, so I call it drive club party. Or you could just have a regular party and don't call it nothing. So if you look in the upper middle of this of the screen, after one slash eight, you can tell by the community's logo and ignorant gamers that this is a group, aka communities, uh, chat, cross chat, party chat, whatever you want to call it. And um, I'm not sure if this means that only people who are part of the group can join the chat or can see the chat, but I know for sure if you ever back out of it, you would just come back here like you would normally do a party chat. All right. So you back out. Let's go back into communities. We've already set it up. And if you look right here, it says one game session is happening. One game session slash party and that there are seven players. I wish that they would say that there were seven members instead of seven players because there's only one person playing anything right now. Although I don't have a game loaded up. If we come down here, it refreshes. And now you see that the one is right there. I do see drive club party and you can join the party. And it would be nice if they was, you know, you could specify the game or whatever in here. Um, but you know, I'm sure that's something that is easily done just by titling the menu. And um, you know, that's how it works. You hit join. It doesn't show you the name, just the avatar. But if you click that, it just took me there. I don't know why I did that. But anyway, that would be how you would do it. This would be, oh, wait a minute. Somebody, somebody join in. Somebody joined in. Now what do you do with that? Players in this session. The homie Leroy Legacy. Uh, let me turn on the mic so he can hear me. Testing that out. He doesn't have his on. He seems to always catch me when I'm doing his videos. He's helped me out with the other video. Turn that on for him real quick. Yo, Leroy, give a shout out real quick, bro. It's his thing. His thing is probably beeping because he doesn't have his mic on. <laughs> well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up. But you've seen how we get into the communities. You've seen how we get into the community and we create a party. And look at that. IGZ member pop right in. And we can go get on Drive Club if we uh, wanted to go do that. So... I'm going to wrap this up, I just discovered that if you hit the options menu, you can view this party's community. So I'm thinking that this is open to anybody. So if they join your party and they see it twice, one, you got the branding in the upper middle of the screen, two, 
if they wanted to hit the options button which I'm not sure many people do so it'd be nice if they just put it on the right hand side view this party community and it takes you straight to where we have it at and I guess you would have to join from there so that's pretty cool and uh, yeah I just wanted to add that in it so I wanted to try that because I didn't want to wait so sorry I'm adding another one I have another see that community right there ignorant gamers you see that rainbow six uh, not too many other people going on you see that community parties right there it started so essentially you probably will be able to because I could just join this one right now and then uh, probably view Roger. Yeah, there's a sniper. It's the 417. It does, it does max damage. One shot to the head, two shots to the body, three shots from lower. Wow. I don't know about you, but I would die from one shot in the lower anyway. I mean. So, yeah, you saw that, how I just got in there. So, that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. And I could just get in and join like this. Uh, I want to see real quick if I can right click on there. Oh, no right click there. What about on this? Does it take you to the party? It took you to the now playing. And now I could join from there. So, yep, that's how that works. That's looking pretty good. And um, now I can finally close the video. <laughs> anyway, your boy Snow. Ignorant Gamers, and I'm out. Peace.